Hi, I'm Gina Perks. I'm here in my studio, The Copper Needle. I want to show you today a design that you can do with my ruler, Jane. So she's part of the grid collection. So you can see that the grid is etched into the ruler, and that way I can line up the ruler with the grid that I've marked. Hopefully you watched my ruler, or my tutorial, sorry, on the Take Aim stencil collection and how to mark your fabric with that new stencil collection. So that's what I've done. And I've done one row already. And I'm going to show you how to use this ruler. First, let's do a very cool thing that the Innova machine does, which is the handle can move right out of my way. So all I need is the one handle for the needle up and down. So I'm going to take and offset the scallop so that the valleys are going to line up with the peaks that I made before in the row below. And I'm going to line up the grid on the ruler with the grid that I've marked onto my fabric. I want to make sure that I'm doing a really good job of keeping my ruler nice and stable so my hand stance is quite wide so that I can keep the ruler nice and stable. This is a good place to attach a gripping aid to the bottom of the ruler so that it doesn't slip. Now I'm gonna, I want to hit that peak with my needle. So if I feel like I need to adjust my ruler a little bit, I can just slide it right on down and just come down a little bit further. Now you can see that my foot fits into that groove perfectly. Most feet are going to be that same size so that they'll fit right into the groove and the needle, when it goes down, will line up with this line on the ruler. But you might have to kind of work a little bit ahead of time to figure out exactly where you need to place the, the ruler in relationship to the grid. And now we're going to work our way across, hit that peak, and you can see how cool I'm hitting the intersection points with my peaks and valleys. I might need to reposition my hands so that I have stabilization as I work across. And when you do that, make sure that you stop your machine from stitching. If you need to take the ruler out and slide it over, I'm going to do that. And readjust so that the grid that you've marked lines up with the grid on the ruler. And then just continue working your way across. Make sure that you stabilize that ruler. And then just walk your hands across until you really get the design down. Now I've ended in a peak here. So I really am ready to start that next upper row. So I can just, you can see that I'm, I was here with my ruler. Now I'm gonna offset it so that I have a peak above a valley. And then I'm gonna readjust and make sure that my grid is even and lined up and that my hands are stabilizing the ruler. Isn't that cool the way it's perfectly spaced so that the peak lines up with the intersection point and the valley lines up with the intersection point. So I've perfectly spaced clamshells, making sure that I'm stabilizing the ruler really well. I'm just gonna work my way across, repositioning my hands and always landing with the needle in the down position. So that's your basic clamshell using Jane with a horizontal one inch grid.